Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a bit of a review on our new air fryer. So you guys may be thinking that we're a bit late to the party and we're aware of that. However, what we did try to do is buy a new air fryer at Christmas time. However, the kids' needs come first, as always. I'm sure you guys know if you are parents at home that what the kids need comes well before what you need. So we didn't manage to get it. However, the one we were going to buy was a bit more expensive than the one we've got just now. But because the deal was so good, we thought we couldn't pass up the chance to get one. We know there's been some stock issues as well over the last while due to the popularity of them. Um, but for this, it was £59 from Asda. It is a Scoville 4.3 litre digital air fryer. And there is a three year guarantee included with this. Now, on the ASDA website itself, there are over 700 reviews, if you guys want to check it out for yourself. And um, there are 700, over 700 reviews which are on a five star rating. And the feedback and um, ratings are really, really positive, which was why we bought it at the time. Um, we did check the reviews in the store before we purchased it, just to make sure that we weren't wasting our money on a product that wasn't going to be what we need. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it is the Scoville 4.3 litre air fryer. Now, we don't currently have an air fryer, so this is not a new purchase to replace something that we already have. This is a completely new appliance. I've never had an air fryer in my life, so I'm really excited to try it. Um, what I'm going to do just now is unbox it together with you guys and we can see what's inside the box. So some really nice sturdy package in there to keep your new appliance safe. Um, we also have the air fryer which looks like it comes inside a little bag. Might be difficult to get it out for you guys on screen. Um, but yeah, so nice big sturdy cable and this little plastic bag needs to come off so bear with me it's quite difficult to do on your own there we go so oh, this is what it looks like from the front so nice simple display on there um, obviously it's not switched on, we don't know what it looks like yet, but certainly it feels really sturdy, um, it looks really nice and sleek and it actually isn't too heavy at all, you know. Um, I think for some of these it, be, it can be quite cumbersome looking and quite clunky really if that's a word, but on your worktop and I think this will sit into our worktop just fine and it won't take up too much room as well. So there is a little bit here on the side that can come off. And on this side as well, and I'll just show you the drawer, there we go. So a bit of packaging in there as well. And we've got the Scoville coating on there as well, which is, I don't know if you can see, speckles, which Scoville are really well renowned for. Um, and it helps things to stop from sticking as well. So just a little safety point, there is quite a bit of packaging inside the machine itself. So there's a sort of cardboard um, sort of placing on top and inside that I've noticed there. So before you use it, please make sure that you take all the bits out that shouldn't be there. Otherwise you could have a bit of a, a, bit of a problem. Um, so the three layer non-stick coating system is the speckled finishing layer the top non-stick layer, the base non-stick layer, and the steel basket with aluminium coating. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this for the first time tonight and our plan is to do a homemade Nando's style meal. So what we'll do is we'll bring you guys back in a wee while once we've done our food and we'll show you what we made with our new machine. So we'll see you soon. Hey guys, so we thought we'd bring you along to see that we have managed to marinate our chicken. So we've got the Nando's Piri Piri Quick Marinade, which is in the medium hot 
um, of spiciness, spiciness. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to transfer the chicken, it's been marinating for about half an hour, into the air fryer and then we'll see what we're going to do next, okay? So we've got our chicken in the air fryer, so we're going to just pop it on and we'll bring you back in a minute. Hey guys, thanks for coming back to join us again. So our first experience of using the air fryer was a really positive one. It was really straightforward and simple. So the Scoville 4.3 litre um, air fryer did advise you to use just an 800 grams maximum amount of food in the machine and 600 grams if it was chips that you were cooking in the machine. However, we cooked a 1.4 kilogram chicken, which is a medium chicken from Tesco's, and it took 45 minutes at 180, and it's perfectly cooked. So I thought I would just cut it up and show you guys on film what it looks like and what you can expect if you put chicken in your air fryer. So as you can see, we used a Nando's uh, rub, or sorry, marinade, and there is a bit of extra sugar in there which is why it's a little bit darker in some spots but it's perfectly cooked um, this little bit of skin here you can pull off and you can see the meat is just falling away absolutely delicious um, really looking forward to having this tonight with dinner and what we've done is we have made up some sweet potato fries some sweet corn mini corn in the cob some coleslaw and a little bit of garlic bread so we'll show you that at the end once we've plated it up. I hope this video has been useful and if you want to follow and share and subscribe to this channel that'd be much appreciated and we're hoping to do even more of these videos to help you guys out at home. Thanks for watching, bye!